Hello and thank you for watching this video. My name is Clive Miller and I'm the founder of SaleSense. I've made this video to share some ideas about selling. What is selling all about? It might seem obvious that the purpose of selling is to get other people to buy things that they otherwise might not have bought. And while this serves as a definition, it suggests self-serving motives and to my mind this obscures the, the huge value that selling can contribute to the greater good. You see, there's a difference between helping people do what they want to do and getting them to do things that they don't want to do. Helping people do what they want to do is selling. Getting people to do what they don't want to do is a confidence trick that fools them into thinking that a particular purchase will help them do what they want to do. In my opinion, such deception has no place in selling. You may be thinking that people don't need help to do what they want to do. If so, ask yourself how much of your time is spent doing what you want to do. This question down here. Perhaps 20%, 30%, some of you it may be more, 50% or more. This still leaves room for the salesperson to make a contribution. And delving deeper, we can consider the quality of our experience when we are doing what we want to do. Could it be improved? Improving the quality of an experience represents another opportunity for a salesperson to help people get more value from the things they do. Uh, to my mind, being a seller offers an almost unparalleled opportunity to help people get more out of their lives and get paid for doing it. Few other pursuits are quite so fulfilling. And despite many sellers having this mindset, potential customers are wary and perhaps for good reason. There are those who care little for the true value of thing to the buyer and instead they focus on the money and these people may also be known as sellers. No seller can influence buyers without their permission and most buyers are consciously or unconsciously cautious about allowing a seller influence. Another way of describing such permission is trust. Let me draw your attention to this diagram. It represents the meeting of a seller with a potential buyer. I remember the last time you were in a consumer electronics store and uh, what was your reaction when a salesperson approached you? Uh, most people automatically put up their mental defences because of the expectation that the seller is there to persuade. Yet no seller can persuade without having established a level of trust with the potential customer. In the diagram, the seller must shift his or her position from one of persuasion to one of collaboration. And extending this concept further, I'd like you to consider the ultimate purpose of a seller. In a classroom setting, I often ask participants this question directly. What is the ultimate purpose of selling? Common replies include to get the order, to get the money, even to win the customer. Just occasionally, an enlightened individual will say, to have the customer sell for you. This is important and worth repeating. Make your objective to have the customer sell for you. It is worth writing in a place where it will remind you of the idea as you go about your work. Have the customer sell for you. The description of the ultimate sales purpose works on two levels. Uh, the sentence might be interpreted as have the customer sell themselves. It could also be understood to mean have the customer be so enthusiastic about their purchase that they tell everyone they meet how it has changed their life. Business is secured much more easily when customers sell for you. So if you set this as your ultimate sales objective, what would you do differently? 
I'm sure you can think of many things that would shift if you adopted this attitude. I summarise them this way. Stop trying to sell people. Instead, help them do what they want to do. <laughs> Sounds so simple, doesn't it? <laughs> Almost blindingly obvious. I hope that this video has reminded you of the ultimate sales purpose. Or if this is a new idea to you, I hope it's inspired you to adopt it. And if you'd like to learn more, join the Sales Sense Sales Club. Thank you for watching.